ChatGPT is great for collapsing time and doing research. And in this video, I'm going to show you a prompt hack that will actually help you research influencers and competitors in just a fraction of the time. Let me switch my screen and I'll show you. So what most people do when they research influencers and competitors with ChatGPT is they do a very, very basic search and they kind of looking just for the names and then they continue researching. So they will go to ChatGPT and they'll type something like find five influencers on mindset. If I'm a mindset coach, I may be looking to find some people that are in mindset. And of course, Chad GPT obliges and comes up with five names. And what you have to do after that is copy and paste each, copy each name and paste it into each individual social media platform to try and find their account. So you can actually have a complete document with all their links, their website, their YouTube channel, their Facebook, their Instagram, and so forth. And that actually takes a lot of time. It can take you up to a couple of hours to go, especially like this is five names, but what if you're looking for 10, 15, 20 people, imagine how much work you need to put in just to do research. But I have found this prompt hack that will allow you to get the names, what they do, and all the links to their uh, social media channels plus their website. So um, instead of watching me type, because I'm a terrible typer and speller, I just copied and pasted it from my notes. And this is what the prompt looks like. So first, we're going to tell ChatGPT that we are going to give it instructions. And we're going to put that in brackets. And then we're going to say, okay, uh, we started with mindset. Uh, I told you that I'm a bad speller. Mindset. Okay, so we're going to tell it, find five influencers on mindset and generate a table with their name in the left column, a description of what they do in the next column, their website link in the next column, their Facebook page in the next column, the Instagram account link in the next column, the YouTube channel link in the last, and the YouTube uh, channel link in the last column. And another thing I like to say is if there's no information for a column, leave it blank. And I do this because uh, some, some people do not actually have certain social media accounts. Some people don't have YouTube channels. Some people don't have TikTok accounts. And uh, the, the thing with ChatGPT is that the more information you give it, the more specific you are, the better the result that it will spit out for you. Okay, so let's click enter and see what Chat GPT comes up with. All right, so we've got Tony Robbins, life coach and motivational speaker. We've got his website, his Facebook page, Instagram account, YouTube account. So you can see these are all um, links. You can click on any of those links um, and it will take you straight there. And as you can see, we've got Tony Robbins's Facebook page. So it's doing it for all of the other influencers. Um, and it looks like they all have all of the social media accounts. I have done some where uh, some people don't have a YouTube account. And if they don't, um, ChatGPT will just basically leave the column the, the uh, uh, column uh, empty, uh, the cell in that column empty, sorry. Okay, so we've got all this information and what we can do is just copy everything and paste it into an Excel sheet. And that way you just took maybe two to three minutes to do all the research you need. But here's something else you can do. You can go even further so I'm going to uh, type, I'm going to uh, copy this and uh, I want to show you something, but I'm not going to um, get ChatGPT to type all these links again. We're going to leave uh, just their website link. 
Um, so it, it's just easier to show you what I'm trying to do. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to tell it is after the table, ask. And this is the question we want ChatGPT to ask us. Do you want to replace uh, uh, sorry, an influencer from the table with a different different one? And we're going to tell it to put it below the table. Okay, now, um, as I said, I'm not asking it to come up with all the social media platforms. The only thing I'm asking in this prompt, just to make it easier and quicker, is the, na the name, the description of what they do, and their website. Okay, and here's what's happening. Tony Robbins, again, we've got Oprah Winfrey, Deepak Chopra, Gary V, and Brene Brown. All right, now, and, and he, do you see, he just asked me the question, do you want to replace an influencer from the table with a different one? Okay, so I'm looking at this table and I don't think that Oprah Winfrey is somebody that could be my competitor. So I can be like, I can say, can you, can you replace Oprah Winfrey with a different influencer influencers name let's see if this will come up with uh, something okay and it says sure here's the updated table now most of the times it works perfectly well sometimes we have a hiccup but this time it just replaced it with somebody else now if i don't like dr phil i can do exactly the same thing um I can just copy and paste this and change Oprah Winfrey with Dr. Phil and see if that will come up with a better one. And as I said, now you can replace some of them, one of them, all of them. You can regenerate the whole thing, but this is the easiest, easiest way to create, to research very, very quickly and find great names. There you go. As you can see, now it came up with Tim Ferriss and Tim Ferriss is um, a great influencer. And again, just copy and paste it into your Excel sheet. So here's what I want you to do now. I want you to go to ChatGPT and use that prompt, that prompt hack, and use it for your niche and find the influencers and all their information. And then I want you to come back and tell me about your experience. Tell me if you loved it, if you hated it, and tell me how you went. I'll see you next time.